Are you extendedly laser focused on it or do you get distracted easily? Our obsessions become our possessions, but we won't possess them if we're not truly obsessed. Turn your damn TV off. Turn your phone off a lot too. Does it really matter what's going on with the Kardashians right now? Don't be so obsessed with them. Be obsessed with your own reality TV program called your own life. This suffering, this sacrifice you're making is an indicator of progress. It's an indicator of obsession. Suffering and sacrifice and hard work is an indication of progress towards our dreams. The price you will pay for not making your dream come true is far greater than the one that you will pay to make it come true. You'll pay that one the rest of your life. And so ask yourself what you're willing to risk. What's the price you're willing to pay? Stop negotiating the price. It's a freeing experience to totally commit. When you totally commit to a business, to your fitness, it's a freeing, powerful, it's almost like removing kryptonite from your life when you totally commit. Can you do that? The people around you always say, it's costing too much. It's costing too much. You gotta start going, no, it's worth it. I dare you to work on yourself for six months. I dare you to shut out the world. I dare you to shut out all the distractions. I dare you to give up everything that is keeping you from your dream. Every day when I wake up, I got all kind of demands. You got all kind of demands. And the reason why you're not where you want to be is you taking all other people's stuff before you spend enough time with yourself to get to know you and get to know what you want and what you should do. Come on, y'all. Y'all heard it a million times. In case of an emergency, put the doggone mask on yourself first. And the problem with most of you in this room, you giving it to everybody else first. And then you piss when you give it to everybody else first and you come up short and you wonder why you came up short because you gave it to everybody else first. Take care of you. You guys need to understand what you don't have to do. You don't have to work hard. You don't have to eat right. You don't have to sleep right. You don't have to do more than what's required of you. You don't have to be a good teammate. You don't have to be a good leader. You don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. But you also don't have to win. You don't have to be a success in life. You don't have to help your team win. You don't have to play. So the greatest things in life, they sacrifice and discipline. And that's why so few people achieve great things. Because they don't want to sacrifice, they don't want to discipline for something greater. So you see all these people that have great things in life that you look up to? It's because they were sacrificed and disciplined long before you ever knew them. Every day, do something that moves you toward that goal, that keeps that goal alive and in sight and in focus. However small or insignificant that step might seem, take it, do it, make it happen, because that goal isn't going to achieve itself. It is all on you. Some of y'all are so caught up on the game that you don't get it. It is in practicing. It is in eating right. It is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice. It is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grind is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. You concentrate on winning. You concentrate on dominating. Listen to me. Focus on this stuff. And when we focus on that, that's where our energy is going to go. So all the little stuff you're talking about, all the little social media, cut it off. Cut it off. Do what you're supposed to do. You ain't no boy no more. Get off social media. It's killing you. Stop Netflix. Who you watching? Watch you. Cut the TV off. It's going to be there. You got a job to do. That's what you're getting paid for. Have some pride. Cut off the TV, son. Cut that doggone football game up. It ain't doing nothing for you. They making millions, you not. More stuff comes to you when you execute, son. I hate when people give 70% or they want the life of somebody that's giving 100%. I challenge you, your life is where it is because of the percentage that you're giving. If you hit a tree a thousand times in a thousand different spots, the tree is not going to fall. But if you hit a tree a thousand times in that same exact spot, she's going to come to the ground. Your problem is you did hit it a thousand times, but in a thousand different places. 
need you to do me a huge favor. Stop trying to be deep. I need you to do the exact same thing every single day for the next 10, 15, 20 years and watch that tree come down and watch you go from zero to a multi-million dollar company. Nothing's changed, guys. I'm doing the exact same thing I was doing 20 years ago. I just keep doing it. And your problem is you're not intentional and deliberate. You wake up on Monday, you might be strong, but by Wednesday, are you hearing what I'm telling you? You're not intentional and deliberate. You are hoping that the best is going to happen to you and the best never happens to you. You got to be intentional and deliberate, whether you're making money or not making money. You got to decide that you're going to do something and you got to do it every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, every Thursday. The problem with some of you in this room, you're not intentional and deliberate. You're a good person that just hopes the good stuff is going to happen to you. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. There's only two ways you can be. You can be the person who learns a little bit, who does a little bit, and then who decides that this really isn't for them and moves on to something else and repeats that cycle over and over and over again. Or you can be the person who's committed. You can be the person who says, this is going to fucking work no matter what happens, no matter how frustrated I get, no matter how angry I get, no matter what happens in the world, no matter what, I'm fucking doing this. Those are the people that are gonna win. You gotta stop telling yourself that you're doing enough. You have to do more. In life, it's never enough until you feel this overwhelming feeling of sh man. I'm out working the crowd. I'm out working everybody. I'm doing more. Once you get there, that's when you fucking know you've done enough. You gotta do your best work when you're at least motivated. So those days you don't wanna do it, you gotta second the fuck up to do it. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. You guys have got to believe in yourself. Headstrong, mentally tough. That's the only way to the bullshit in your life. Winners, the difference between them and the spectators is the winners have a belief that overrides the crowd's disbelief every single time. Their belief is so strong. Even though they hit failure, they get knocked on the ass. They're finding the intestinal fortitude to stand back up again, face that same challenge, learning from the previous mistakes, and make it happen. Winners fail a million times. What makes them a winner is that they believe it, they're headstrong. Nothing's gonna stop them. There is no excuse for not being the hardest worker. Yeah, someone might be bigger, stronger, faster, or quicker, younger, whatever else, but there is no excuse to not be the hardest f***ing worker there. No longer are we going to accept rhymes and society's rhyme the reason that we are average. Average is a weak mentality. We must believe it so much so that we're arrogant about it. We must be pissed off for excellence. The easy route never pays well. The only route in life that pays well is the hard route. When you're working out, you want to die. Feel the death happening in you. Feel the pain happening in your legs as you rep out one more squat. Because it'll be 